Great job figuring out what the substance is in the water. As we know, the sodium and nitrogen atoms are in the fertilizer, but not in the rust. This led us to realize that we needed to take another look at the water sample. And we found that it was in fact the case that there was this other substance in there. It was dissolved in the water so we couldn't see it. However, when we removed it from solution and dried it out, we found that it was a yellow powder that is odorless at room temperature. We know that we are looking for these atoms to be included in the substance. If we take a look at our possible substances, we notice that this does include a sodium and a nitrogen atom. It also contains oxygen, which is also something that exists in our reactants. In our other substance, there are potassium and chromium atoms, which we do not see anywhere in the reactants. This is telling me that there is no way that the potassium chromate could be the other substance. This would mean that these atoms appeared out of nowhere. And we know based on the law of conservation of matter that this is not the case. Therefore, we can let Westfield know that the iron pipes and the fertilizer reacted in the town of Westfield to cause rust and sodium nitrite to be in their water. Hopefully with your analysis, they will be able to fix this issue going forward and go back to having safe and healthy drinking water. Great job, you guys.